Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, Ryzen 6000 is coming sooner than we thought, AMD just released their most powerful gaming GPU, Windows 11 just leaked, and AMD confirms a full redesign. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, we have a leak on AMD's upcoming AM5 platform. The story originally comes from an editor at Unicos Hardware, and first up, you can see he claims that Intel Z690 is coming in Q4 of this year. Of course, that's no surprise given Alder Lake is expected around the same time. Next, the B660 and H610 are expected in Q1 of next year. Then in Q3 is the Z790 boards made for Raptor Lake, and finally is AMD's next generation AM5 socket, which he claims is coming in Q2 of next year. What's interesting about that is that it means AMD will likely be releasing their Ryzen 3D chips on the AM4 platform, because those should be coming quite early next year. Not only that, but it could mean we can expect Zen 4 based CPUs even sooner than we originally thought, because it wouldn't make a lot of sense to release the new platform without the new CPUs. Then again, it's their next generation CPUs that are the most interesting. But before I get to that, we finally have deals on PC hardware with Newegg's Fantastech sales event presale. Now hold on, it's really cool because not only do you get great deals on PC parts right now, but they're guaranteeing that if you buy something now with the price protection badge and it becomes cheaper during the full sale, Newegg will refund the difference to your account. Basically, it lets you go ahead and buy the product now before they run out of stock, so now is the perfect time. And they really have some good deals like PSUs, Intel's newest CPUs, and more. I'll have affiliate links to some of my favorites in the description below, and a link to the general sales, so make sure to check that out. Next up, it looks like AMD has officially released the RX 6900 XT Liquid Edition GPU, which means this is a reference card from AMD and not a board partner design. The story originally comes from video cards, and as you can see, we now have the full specs. And starting things off, we have a huge surprise. If you saw my recent video on this, a retailer actually listed the GPU with 18 gigabit per second memory instead of 16. At the time, I assumed it may just be a mistake. Well, it isn't, as the new GPU does in fact come with faster memory. Moving back to this, we can see that it does have the same amount of VRAM and cores, but it includes a faster game clock as well as higher power requirements. Now, when it comes to picking one up, I have bad news. According to video cards, this appears to be made for system integrators, at least for now, so it likely won't be sold to the DIY market. Of course, no one would likely be able to buy it anyway. Next up for today, it looks like Windows 11 is in fact coming, and the entire operating system has been leaked. So let's get right to it. The first couple images were leaked on the Baidu forums, with the rest of it later dropping in an article on The Verge. And they pretty much show everything. We're talking user interface, features, and more. So starting things off is a video. And the first thing you may notice is that the app icons are centered by default though there is an option to move it back to the left. Next, the start menu is shown, which reveals that live tiles have been removed for a simplified version. Then it's revealed that yes, this is in fact Windows 11, and the author of the post tweeted out its authenticity, though I will say that I could have sworn The Verge's original article said that they could confirm it, but I can't seem to find it on there now. Either way, Windows 11 seems to be confirmed at this point. Next, it shows the notification pane off to the right. Then the settings menu is shown. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, pretty much everything is rounded now. Next up, we have an image of File Explorer, which shows new icon designs, but not much has changed. With that said, The Verge claims that they expect more changes to the built-in apps, but that most of the OS feels finished. Keep in mind that this is an early build, so some things will be different for the final release. Next is a new snap feature that lets you quickly put the window to a side of the desktop. Then there's a new Windows startup sound. And finally, we have widgets. Yep, this button right here brings out a side pane that shows off some widgets. Finally, The Verge expects a redesign of the Windows Store, but the build they have doesn't show that off. All in all, I'd say it's a bit disappointing. While Microsoft could change a bit come release, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. And lastly for today, AMD has essentially confirmed that they will begin using the big dot little design in future Ryzen CPUs. 
For those who haven't been following the channel, not long ago, a leak surfaced that claimed Zen 5, codenamed Strix Point, would feature a big dot little core design, and that Ryzen would get 8 big cores and 4 little cores. Well, a new patent was recently published by AMD that essentially confirms it, or at least confirms that AMD is in fact working on incorporating the technology. And they've actually been working on it for a while. As yes, the patent was just published, it was originally filed in 2019. So that certainly gives more credence to the original leak. The patent itself more focuses on scheduling tasks between the two different cores. At the end of the day, it looks like both AMD and Intel are planning to eventually move over to a big dot little style architecture eventually. Of course, Intel will be releasing theirs very soon. So while that does it for today, are you excited for this transition of big dot little cores or do you not think it's a big deal? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.